Good evening, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I um, hope you're all having a good week. Um, I'm Emma Goddard, and you can find me at coastalcrafter.com. I thought this evening um, my goodies have arrived from the July to December mini. So as demonstrators, we get to pre-order um, the product early. So the catalogue goes live for six months from July to December. And in this month, we can pre-order um, from the mini catalogue. So the supplies have arrived which is exciting I've still got lots of new stuff on my shelf from the annual catalogue so um yes very exciting hey Judy hey Louise evening Anne-Marie um so I thought thought I'd share what there is so um Jan's is excited to see what you bought <laughs> lots <laughs> I think Holly, hello. Uh, Joyce, exciting. Paula, hello, hello. Um, yeah, I was planning to do this yesterday, just ran away from me. Um, so I thought, oh, before I put it all away, I will share what has arrived. So I've already taken this out of the box and got rid of the box. But this was um, one of the first things. Hey, Janet. Uh, it was a lunchbox. Who doesn't love a lunchbox? <laughs> so it's got the Stampin' Up logo on the back. It's really nice cotton and it is fully insulated, lined, wipeable inside. Just a silver inside. It's big. I mean, I like my food, so you're going to get a lot of lunch in there. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> Right, it says I was watching Corey and I've torn your way. Um, and in here is um, a kit called Nourish and Flourish Kit. And there are nine cards um, in this kit. Um, you get some pearls and some dimensionals and all the bits and bobs. So that is inside of the lunchbox. But there's... um. It's a kind of a charity one where a certain amount of the monies is going to um, fund. So it's quite a nice one for that. Um, so that feels, and it's double zipped as well. So you've got the zips coming down from both sides. You've not got to make that go all the way around. So happy with that. Very nice, very nice. That will be going into work with me tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, right, let's show you. Let's do desk view. Uh, and I will share with you some of the papers. So I didn't, I have to say, I didn't get loads and loads of papers. I got some uh, rustic harvest, this is called. Uh, so I've got some... It feels weird looking at like pumpkin stuff in June. It's weird, isn't it? But, you know, it's uh, all good. Uh, we've got stripies, we've got pumpkins. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice um, flourishy one. That could be summer. You've got acorns in black and white this one this is a nice one for just doing that chopping the paper and I like that they do these in the um in the paper packs now you get six easy six cards straight out of that piece of paper just chopped done sentiment on job done and I like the fact that so far like that doesn't have to be Halloween, it's not witches' hats or anything like that. And then on the other side, got some black and white, uh, some vegetables, <laughs> squash and pumpkin and stuff like that, uh, and leaves. Kind of a harvest. You could do uh, harvest type cards. 
Ah, uh, Cajun craze. They that colours in the um he's the man or he's the man suite that is in the gourds. That's right. Um this colour is in like the man suite that's in the annual catalogue. So um it would extend that paper out as well. It would give you another pattern. Leaves, which is pretty, and the green. Uh, with the black and white check so a nice mix I think some nice masculine ones in that the colours are basic black Cajun craze Cajun craze crush, crush, ugh, crushed curry early espresso merry merlot and mossy meadow it's mossy meadow you could indeed colour the leaves so yeah nice that came with I bought the stamp set but not the dies um for that one which was this one here um i like the kind of the leaf and then these flowers with the pumpkin um nice hello wishing you the loveliest day i thought that was nice at any time of year um you're such a blessing yeah i just thought they were nice uh nice size um, they are clear mounted red rubber. So that's those ones. Um, what else? What else? I got, uh, I bought the, I've not assembled this in any order. So for that, I apologise. I just piled it on the desk. I got it out of the box, but piled it on the desk. So I've got the Scotty Dogs. <laughs> Christmas Scotty. <laughs> Cute. And this one comes with a punch. So, that one will punch this one out, but it'll also obviously punch you one on its own. And a little bow. Cute. <laughs> Love the Scotty dogs. They're so sweet. Just thought it was something different. And that plaid in there is really nice. So you could make um, tartan Scotty dogs or you've just got that as a nice background for presents. You could make presents and bows and things. Uh, may your days be furry and bright and little snowflakes and stuff. So I thought that was cute. Dan ordered the Scotty dogs. Fabulous. Thought you might. <laughs> uh what else have we got i did order oh this one this might you might not have spotted this one in the catalogue trying to show you kind of autumn things first leaves fall 3d leaf fall in 3d embossing folder nice um you could wind that through i think like you could probably you can probably see it on there okay but nice nice um and it's a 3d one it's a thick one uh, and get rid of that plastic get rid of that packing uh i bought all oh, this one this was my favourite autumn one. I did like the pumpkin one, but this was my favourite, the Fond of Autumn. I, I mean, it's flowers and I can colour it. Um, so it was kind of up my street, really. Acorns, flowers, autumn wishes. Thank you. Happy thoughts of you. Sending many thanks. Just a note. Just a note. I love a just for note. Uh, just a note. And then the little acorns and leaves. This one is photocolour and um a little bigger and the image is at 90 percent. so yeah the images are slightly bigger than you see on the box front really nice one this one i'm excited right let me find the dies that go with this one so this one has i hope really check these autumn this is for them autumn bouquet dies um is hey Roz 
Uh, yeah. So it's got all the bits and bobs, like to cut the outline of that out. So, but it's got separators. So it's got the part. So can you see there where that image is in different parts? That will cut out for you so that you can have just the leaves, just the acorn section, or just those berries and leaves. And I love that. Thought that was very clever. Um, and you get an outline die to keep it whole. So you have the outline die to keep it as one image as well. So I thought that was a nice touch. We've not had that kind of thing before, so it separates it for you. I thought that was really nice. And then this die, stunning background kind of piece that will cut intricate background. So, and then you've got a nice banner and some floral bits and bobs. Uh, so, that one I feel will become a class. That one I'm feeling um, like I'm going to make and make and make with that one. So, yeah, really nice. Oh, Zaina, what a genius idea. Love the acorns. We'll go well with the squirrels. Yes. Like friends with the squirrels, that one. <laughs> mm. um, what else? Did I, oh, should I do? I'll do celebration afterwards. So, uh, oh, there's a new tools. So this is an embossing additions toolkit. I'm sure if you've been scouring social media, you might have already seen this. Um, but in here is an embossing tray so you can put your powder and then tip your powder or um, you know the um, what are they called the embellished oh, lost, I can't speak tired effervescent elements if you were working with those they could sit in the tray because they roll all over the place um, or if you're working with sequins kind of you've got the tray um, to work on embossing buddy so you can't buy it separate but you get it as part of the embossing kit so a nice full new embossing buddy um, and a brush for tidying up <laughs> brushing off edges but that's cool a little bit of brush and tweezers so um for elements and stuff so always handy to have tweezers in your um tools so happy happy with that and that's a little um it's a bit exciting a bit different um yeah it's always nice to have the actual catalog isn't it i have got catalogs um here but my um complimentary one hasn't come through yet but i have because i did my pre-order i've now got catalog to, in my hands so the other advantage of pre-ordering um if not just a few bits um so it says tray also good if doing die cutting Oh, yeah, for dyes so they don't get lost or, yeah, handy, handy, handy. Hey, Sarah. Um, this I didn't get my hands on last year. So the Snowfall um, Accent Puff Paint. Oh, I'm not under the camera. There you go. Anyway, that's um, a puff paint. Um, and you, let me just grab a bit of card. Oh, a bit of card. So it looks like a glue, but then when you heat it, um, so true. So I always find things when looking at the PDF. Yeah, you can find things you missed. I'm just going to heat this and show you what this will do. I hope. Mm. 
There you go. Starting to go. I've got quite a lot on there. <laughs> Very cool, huh? There, it kind of puffs up. Like snow. I had quite a large blob of that on the edge there, but um, yeah, on top of houses or um, I suppose it puff uh, very cool for the penguins, cool for like the tops of roofs of houses or just at the bottom of um things so yeah that gives you like a snow snow effect so looking forward to playing with that um the other um thing that is in this vlog eels these um pearlized enamel effects there's a black there is a um, yeah any of the christmas winter stuff <laughs> there's any of the Christmas, you can put snow on everything. Pearlized enamel effects, um, white, real red, and black. And these, uh, uh, make little dots. So let's, oh, that's a nice color. Although it says black, it's more of a silvery grey, but it's nice. And I've obviously got that on. <laughs> I love watching the unboxing, I need a larger bank account. I know, right? Sam. There you go. Can you see those? So they make perfect little pearl dots. Perfect for berries or just making pearls on things um and yeah they will be sitting permanently on my desk um I think not just through the Christmas season but like the whole the whole time so those pearls are gorgeous and they've got like um they are like pearlized kind of an iridescent look to them they're lovely really nice really nice so they'll take a little while to dry um but lovely uh, what other? So I've got some other embellishmenty bits, which are so these are adhesive backed sequins, like the we had a set like this, didn't we? I'm rubbish with names, so rubbish with names. Anyway, we've got like a gold, a green, a white, and a pinky red. So pretty. And they're all um, uh, adhesive backed. Do they take long to settle down? I don't know. I'll keep an eye on them and I will let you know. Um, and yes, they do, Fiona. They do dry hard. So you could pop them onto your silicon mat. So you could pop them onto here. And then once it's dry, you could pop it off and then stick it if you didn't want to put it directly onto your card right away um you could leave that to dry and then pop them off to use them later but um otherwise you just need to set your card to one side to to use but yeah they will take a little while to to dry um I'm only putting it, taking that off there because I know I'll end up sitting something on top of it because my desk is going to be covered in stuff. So. Um, it's one, it's bad enough keeping an eye on this one sheet, let alone others. <laughs> um, these ones are gorgeous. Um, these are adhesive backed as well, and they are with the snowflake sweet, I think. Uh, very pretty. Kind of. Um, fresh freesia, kind of coastal cabana colour, and then like a silvery slaty grey on those. Very pretty. Uh, 
hand. Oh. And then these ones, there was one, one of each pack of, like one colour of each. Let's pop them over to one side as well. Um, I chopped up on some gold ribbon. This is not new, um, but this was a shimmer gold ribbon and I had run out, um, but it's carried forward from last Christmas catalogue to this Christmas, kind of the July to December, I call it Christmas catalogue, but July to December mini. July is not Christmas, but um, that was just a nice gold ribbon. So I thought, oh, I will top that up on my shelf. Um, other embellishments for these textured elements. So these sprigs, they're wooden, um, but would work great with those um, uh, pearlized red dots sitting on top of those berries and letting them dry. Uh, some ribbons. This is a duo pack. So real red and garden green. I love this style of ribbon. It's so lovely to tie. It's a nice width and it's a nice um, texture to a, a nice, it ties nicely. So really nice that one. That's lovely. There's a red and a green. Um, and so they are one centimetre wide and nine, oh, 4.6 metres long. So you've got two spools, but they're slightly shorter. So that is those. And I've got the, oh, look, I'm rolling back. <laughs> Stay there. Uh, natural ribbon. I feel like we had this before, but I like it. Maybe this was carry over as well. This one's one of those really soft, <coughs> like fabricy, really nice ribbon. <laughs> Ribbon's gone rolling back and he's laughing. Uh, so that also ties very soft, very, very soft ribbon. Um, this is that one. Um, and some flat jingle bells, been squished. <laughs> but jingle bells are lovely, but they're quite big on a card, aren't they? So when you then mail a card, they then make the depth of it and the envelope catches so these are perfect because they are flat so they'll sit flat onto your card they'll tie on nicely as an embellishment so um they're really nice I like those so you get um, 20 of those in a packet um what else what else what to show you Oh, glimmer paper, real red and white glimmer. Sparkly. So, yeah, get four of each of those. How pretty is that? And I think it's pretty good as not, not coming off. So... Um, just six by six, those ones. Um, celebration, celebration, celebration. Uh, I wasn't sure. I wasn't. I was like, should I get the vellum? Should I not get the vellum? I'm so glad I got the vellum. <laughs> uh oh, are you ready? This is called Snowflake Twelve by Twelve Speciality Vellum. And it's that's my hand behind this. It's really, it's quite thick, so that you kind of you're not seeing right through it. Gorgeous. We so got the um, 
different snowflakes. Gorgeous. And then this is flocked. And it's got the kind of fuzzy felt on top. And Marie says these are on my to buy this. Oh, look at the snowfall. You can they got the snow and then a piece of the same snowflakes as the other ones. So they're gorgeous. Gorgeous. So shiny. So much lovely stuff. Carol, see you all in person now. Uh, right, let's pop that over this side. Um, more paper. The paper's the fun thing. Like the stamps, like it's nice to see stamps, but the paper's the fun thing, isn't it? The flock's gorgeous, isn't it? This one is called Bowels of Holly. So this one goes with, let me find the stamp set that this goes with that's probably helpful to you. Holly Berry, these are Holly, Holly. So this one, that is photopolymer and it comes with dies that I love there was a sample uh in the catalogue that was just the one card in the catalogue and I was like sold I am buying this so yeah gorgeous and it's this it's got this beautiful die here and then the berries and the holly and the banner and stuff. Oh, I think that'll pair up with other stuff as well really nicely. Um, so yeah, looking forward to using that. I always turn my dies that way round so that the, the dies are then visible. I tend to put magnet sheets in as well when I get sorted with them, but I turn them that way round and then that goes in and doesn't get caught on the dies. Yeah, the Karen says that's what sold me. That sample was just stunning. It was the one just to the right hand side, just beautiful. Um, so mottled red, poinsettias, um, more poinsettias. Oh, that's nice. Like a, a kind of like a wood grain sort of. I don't know. Nice trees. That's nice. A mottled green, the same as that mottled red. <laughs> oh my! I love this paper. This one's gorgeous. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. <laughs> uh, that colour's gorgeous. Love that. More poinsettias. Dots. Uh, more kind of berries and leaves and things. And a mix. Oh, not sure about that one. That's a bit busy. I think I'll be sticking to this side. That's, they're all gorgeous, but that one's a bit... No. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> uh, right. There we go. That is that one. Uh, candy cane. Should we do candy cane? Um, candy canes. This one is called Sweetest Christmas. So you have candy canes and so you said I didn't get the train actually, not on this order. No. Um I was trying to be good. Hello, is it in my crazy traffic? Uh, this one is also red rubber, so you're clear mounted. Um, so you've got the two candy canes, 
and you've got um, lovely font, lovely font, merry and bright, Christmas cheer, it's the most wonderful time of the year, uh, wishing you lots of love, joy and happiness this Christmas season and always, candy cane, wishes and mistletoe kisses, uh, may the good time of today become cherished memories of tomorrow. I like all of them, actually. They're really nice. And then a little sprig and then the candy canes. And they are with candy cane dies. The train's definitely one for colouring, for sure. Great for colouring. Uh, Oh, this feels like a oh, it is a double die. So you've got stripes, and then you've got the candy canes, and then this one here um, cuts the holes top and bottom and makes a tag that you can slide uh, an actual candy cane through. Obviously, these ones are too wide, but a, a normal, real life candy cane will then fit through that um, tag or other sweets or pencils or pens or things like that so good for teacher gifts as well um stripes and do that and i have been in sorry <laughs> I can't turn that on. There we go. So, candy cane paper, stripes, <laughs> Jess must know what Christmas bundles will lead to classes, I know right. This one, definitely the Fond of Autumn, I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> Someone calling. Uh, stripes. Dots. This is just a nice Christmas paper, isn't it? It's a nice red and green Christmassy paper, isn't it? So, uh, more candy canes. More stripes. And the kind of mm, diamondy kind of pattern. So nice a nice kind of selection even if you're not going for the candy cane sweet this would pair up with other Christmassy stuff um as well like the train or um some of the other bits and bobs that are in the catalog um one of the ones that i thought this paper would go beautifully with was this one jingle 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 um i love the idea of this for coloring just for kind of fun cards they are at 90 80 percent on the front of the um, box so that is your actual size so a bit bigger um and you can stamp um the infill so you've got the fun sort of stars and stripes and sort of stitching infill or you can color it or stamp it onto um DSP. Um, you've got some lights and extra light little bits, so like Santa hats and little candy canes and bells and things like that. I thought that was a nice extra one um, to go kind of with other things like the candy canes themselves and stuff. So I really love this one. Yeah, Kaz is at the top of my list. I was, yeah, I was definitely having this one. Really like it. Really like that one. Uh, so that one, and then uh, what else? What else? Oh, I did. I got the um, the banner one. Uh, oh, oh, oh! What's this, did I not get the? Let me check through my order again. Hmm. I got this one, the snow crystal. That was a definite huge snowflake what's not to love um so that was lovely and uh, uh, yeah, check that uh, 
I had the Ringed with Nature. Um, and this goes with a yeah, small each. Chris is like, just a, just a small bit. I've just got a few bits. Um, Ringed with Nature. This, I don't think leaps off the page, but actually I'm really excited to play with this one because um, I think there'll be lots of different kind of um, seasons and there's acorns and there's the houses and lots of things. And there is a celebration paper. So you can't purchase this paper, but you can get it as a freebie. Um, that kind of, that not doesn't kind of, it does coordinate with this, um, this dance set and die bundle. So let's show you the papers. We've got this one, the plaid, acorns, um, nice. That's not like nice, fresh summary. I think. I think that's nice. This one, I love. Look at those birds. How gorgeous is that? Love it. Really pretty. Really pretty. Love the colours on. Really, just really lovely. This one is beautiful. Like salt. Um, splashes, um, the houses, um, you know that's going to be fussy cut out, <laughs> uh, that one's pretty, I like that, like, um, that's lovely, um, mushrooms and kind of autumn-y, really like that one. The logs, tree logs, poinsettia. Is that a good uh or a bad uh? So, and the wood. I like all of them actually. I think they're, they're, yeah, really nice. And that will go with this one. Where am I? I can't get in it. <laughs> so this is a tree rings hybrid embossing folder so you've got the embossing folder you can only get this embossing folder with the die set so you've got that one that's the tree ring oh that was the fussy cutting the houses oh yeah sue loves a bit of fussy cutting right uh, the tree rings and then the dies. <laughs> um, what are these going to be? Ooh. Oh, I like. See, I had see, I'd spotted that in the catalogue that you've got all these like little extra leaf and the acorn as well. So you've got a die cut there with the top of the acorn there so you've got that as well um, and that will die cut your paper it will coordinate with that as well so they're good at doing that actually now they do that a lot Stamp up, do that a lot with the papers and the dies. There's at least one or so sheets in there that just runs through, so you don't have to cut those. They will all just chop out. Yeah, gumdrops too, mushrooms, um, acorns, they'll be great. Yeah, tons, tons of possibilities. Um, so much. Um, I think if you were struggling to choose, it would give you all, loads of seasons. It would give you loads of options. It would give you mail cards, Christmas cards, autumn cards. Yeah, really like this. Really like this bundle. Thinking this might be a class. <laughs> uh, so there's that. And there is that stamp set. And then... Um, uh, 
the Christmas banners, and then two. I mean, who doesn't who doesn't love a Christmas banner? So there was those, which are those, and you've got the berries and the sprigs and the bits and bobs to a nice big banner with that swoosh and the double loop banner as well. So yeah. Yeah, yes to a class, definitely. Yeah. So there's that one. And then um celebration. So um celebration, I got those papers of celebration. Um and then these are um three with a 45 pound order in july so none of this is available now this is all um this is all um if you're a demonstrator you can pre-order um pre-order pre-earn um customers it's all available july and august so those are the envelopes and these coordinate with the splendid day suite so you've got ton of envelopes and a ton of cards and they're nice weight actually um so you've got some in the soft sea foam and some in the cool party they're, they're all right they're not actually they're not they're not as heavy as a normal card stock but they're they're a note card style <laughs> shipping on <laughs> Um, that is the note cards and just a few bits, a few bits and pieces. I know I might have gone mad, I did go mad. Get ahead, get ahead with classes and prep. So, and then this is the freebie as well. So, this is um, definitely a more a paper weight. Um, rather than a cardstock weight, it's DSP rather than a, a heavy cardstock, um, but it's foiled, so you can um, use your blending brushes and do like a resist on that. And you've got stripes and dots in silver and gold. Always handy, handy, handy. Um, and then the hippos. Cute. Uh, you're always on point. You're so hip. Oh, you're really the best and love you a ton. But they are so sweet. So, yeah, very cute. And they came with a little die set. Well, they didn't come with a die set. The die set was another free item. So you can get the dies with a £45 then. So... You get in here a snorkel, a little umbrella, a bathtub, the goggles, the life, the life raft kind of life. Um, what's it? Float. Um, a little boat, and that is cute, very cute. And that obviously die cuts out your your hippos as well, so that'll cut those out. Um, but yeah, they're fun kind of embellishment add-ons cute hearts and flowers and bits and bobs we'll go with that and i think that is about it i did also order the planner um but i will save that for another day um there is a joining offer coming um with the um I am going to be busy. I'm going to be busy. There is a joining offer coming with Celebration, um, which is exciting. And um, there is a planner um, offer. Um, so one to look out for, but I will be sharing that later um, in the month. So I will share that too. Um, but yeah, do watch the replay and then you can have a look over um, the papers and all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, I did. I did um, go a little crazy, but um it's all beautiful and there'll be lots of classes coming up and there'll be lots of um, projects and things I will be sharing with you all. So um, I am excited for that. So, um, yeah, 
from from what you have seen has anyone got any top picks has anyone got favorites that they've just seen what has people's been their favorite you need a good plan no good planner they definitely need a good planner i love my lunchbox <laughs> i think that's my favorite thing i love it <laughs> too much nice stuff uh Carol's loving the new catalogue product harvest and the holly yeah the holly is going to be nice isn't it the scotty dog is cute fiona says scotty dog yeah that was a very sweet one very sweet. i can sweep like little tags and things with that really nice um so yeah well thank you so much for joining me everyone it's been lots of fun unboxing and seeing all the papers for the first time with you always much fun more fun to share with you and open it um with you here um so um i will be back at my normal time of 8 30 on sunday for my normal live um if you've got any requests for those lives um it won't be july to december product that will come come later and closer to to the product going live um, but if you've got any requests from the annual catalogue, then please do message me or um, uh, kind of drop me a line and I would be happy to see what I can do. Um, Zena says, thank you so, so much to choose. Yeah, beautiful. So much to choose from, isn't it? Thank you, Sarah. Um, you're welcome, everyone. And I will see you all soon. Have a good rest of your week and I will see you at the weekend. Take care. Bye.